Last week, the president said we need to take meaningful action on gun control. We can do better to make sure that fewer parents have to endure the pain of losing a child to an act of violence. The president has also said even if there's one thing we can do to reduce gun violence, we have an obligation to try it. Some have said politicians are advancing a political agenda on the backs of innocent children slain at gunpoint. So we decided to put these same arguments and tactics to a test by drawing up an analogy. We went to Piers Morgan at Time Warner and asked employees at Robert De Niro's Tribeca Films if they would edit out guns from their past and future movies by posing as a group called Act Against Arms. First, we visited one of Piers Morgan's properties in Beverly Hills to find signs that say Armed Response Security Systems. Then we used a hidden camera outside CNN studios in New York to ask Piers if he would sign our pledge. Piers deferred on supporting our measure that may have saved the life of a child lost to an act of violence. Mr. Mr. Morgan, quick. My mom and I are starting a uh, a non-profit called Act Against Arms. Yeah. We're trying to get... Time, uh, time Warner's, like, banned guns from movies. Uh-huh. I know you're, like, very... Okay. Yeah, like, I lost a cousin to gun violence. You, you want to give me this? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Would you be no. willing to sign a petition and tell Time right, Let me have a read of it first. Yeah. Okay. At Tribeca Films, many employees initially refused, but then agreed to take guns out of their movies when we brought up a child loss due to an act of violence based on public enemies. Are you with Tribeca? Yeah. Do you work for Tribeca Films? Yeah. Do you work at Tribeca by chance? Yeah. Do you work at Tribeca by chance? Yeah. We want to take the guns out of old movies, current movies. It's a really complicated issue, though. That seems like pretty reductive. Uh, Reductive? Yeah. But President Obama said if we can save one life, that it's worth doing. I I get it. You work at Tribeca? Yeah, I do. Would you be interested in signing Um, up? You know, I can't do anything on on behalf of Tribeca, so... Just as yourself as an independent filmmaker? I, I absolutely support it. I lost my four-year-old actually a year ago, and that's why I'm in this. Okay. The guy who shot her had just seen a movie. Okay. And it was the violence in the movie. Which movie was it? Well, he had seen... You remember the Johnny Depp movie? Yeah. When he portrays John Dillinger? Yeah. He saw that movie, okay. and that was... What, what do I sign? We have made movies for 50 years and we've never featured a single gun. You've never featured a single gun in any of your movies? Might have featured one in 1984. Do you think you can get it out? Like, take it out of the movie? Are you serious? I am very serious. No, dude. That, that No. No. My daughter was shot and killed coming out of her school. And the man who shot and killed her had seen the movie Public Enemies, which was produced by Tribeca. I, I just can't. You don't support yeah. the president? Uh, or you don't support our mission? Or? No, I, I wish you guys a lot. Okay. It would only take five seconds. I can't, I can't. If not now, when? I can't. If not, I you, who? I, right I work in sponsorship. I'm not really even in the film industry. I'm very sorry, and I wish you best. But I, I, well, that's I'm all the more sure. reason we should stand up to sponsors and say, look, you shouldn't be funding or sponsoring things that support gun culture. I mean, we should be... We can fight on all fronts. Um, I appreciate it, but I'm not going to sign it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. One film production company spokesman we interviewed was very supportive of gun control as an abstract matter. Dude, listen, it's a noble crusade, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm actually trying to help you because, you know, fuck the evil in the world. These people should rot in hell. And they are, their, their issues start somewhere. But it's not movies. It's not. And, and if you think it is, then attack the ones that are coming out now. But then when confronted with a concrete proposal to eliminate guns, he quickly admitted that such a thing was completely impossible. How are you going to remove all the remaining guns that still exist in the hands of our citizens? You have to make them illegal. We have to fight for legislation. So you work at Tribeca, no? Correct? Would you like to sign my petition? I'm from Act Against Arms. I'm trying to ban guns in movies. Um... Not really. No? Well, I lost my four-year-old a couple years ago, and I still have a picture of her. You'll do it? Yeah. Sorry. Here. Here's the pen. You just sign. Um, I called earlier. I'm, I'm with the nonprofit. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm going to call security. No, no, no. I'm going to call right now. No, no, no. Uh, please. Can I just leave info for you? I'm sorry, man. It's to prevent dead kids. I, I understand. <laughs> I got to call security, though. 
So Opa is okay, oh, dead kid? Alright, here, I'll, I'll leave. But does security have guns? I mean, you know, drugs are illegal, right? And it's pretty easy to get those. Okay, and these are all well, battles you're going to have to fight because I I'm not I'm not saying you're completely wrong, but I, I mean taking a movie okay, I'm taking a gun out of a right. movie. You're making the NRA's argument. I don't mean to get personal, but Tribeca made yeah. Public Enemy with Johnny Depp. Uh -huh. Why does anybody need a Tommy gun? Yeah, you're, I I, I got to think about this in a lot lot more detail. But I appreciate you being. But if guns are bad, then it's not really that simple. I, go, I mean, it's it's go. five seconds. It, Look at what the vice president said. For nothing else for the children. For okay, future generations. For the I understand that. But you're not realistically going to remove all the guns from every movie ever made. I understand the children should be saved. I understand that. Okay, I'm not an asshole. I get that. But you should look at your task at hand and think about what's logistically, realistically possible. Agree with me? The children. If you want to fight this, if you want to fight this war, move forward. Attack the studios that are putting guns in movies from here on out. If we could have saved one child, don't you think it's worth it to ban them in all movies? I don't know. You don't know? Let me think about it. I have to think. One child. If we could save my four-year-old, yeah, don't you think it's worth it to ban them in movies? Oh, that's your child? Yes. Sorry. Thank you. You didn't do it. A man who watched a movie did it. I would be honored if you signed this. But... Ideally, I hate guns, okay? Mm hmm He's good me. Guns kill people. They're killing I machines. Agree. I agree. Why would anybody need a Tommy gun? I understand that children's lives are worth something, but spouting, like, just cliche rhetoric is not, is not realistically affecting change. I'm telling you, if you want to affect change, act from here on out by removing guns from movies that will appear from this point forward. Would you like to sign the petition for Act Against Arms? We're trying to ban guns in movies. Well, you don't need a Tommy gun. There's no reason for that. Okay. And so this is us trying to ban guns from movies. Okay. If you sign it and you support, yep. just anywhere on the sign, for filmmakers, actors, actresses. And I'm going to continue fighting on this mission, even though you're telling me it's difficult and I can't do it. I'm telling you, yes, we can. That's what I believe. Yes, we can, if we try. That's, that's great, Obama. I mean, that's, that's awesome. But, you know, these little phrases really just go, I mean, for all intelligent people, they go in one ear and out the other. I hate to break it to you. Like all these signs, all the yes, we can, all this shit, doesn't mean anything, man. It doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, okay? You have to realistically, actually affect change. And I'm telling you, I'm giving you a suggestion as to how you could realistically affect change in this, in this area. And I wish you the best of luck.